Hi everyone and welcome back to another working out game video. Today's video is dedicated to the husk weapon guide or shell weapon guide. So let's jump right into it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Once we hit 5k, we'll do a giveaway. Okay, so I'm gonna run some footage and pretty much you're going to see how to get this weapon. Now for the most part, you're just gonna go into conquest, pretty much be normal. You don't have to do all 20. You just have to go through the verses one time each. And then after that, you will unlock hard mode. In hard mode, that's essentially where you get the husk weapon or the shell weapon. Now the thing is with this weapon is it looks pretty garbo in the beginning. But the thing is it's also one of the best weapons that you will ever get your hands on. Because it's going to go into astronomical heights. So, as we're going through this, let's go ahead and look through the actual weapon itself. So if you go to pretty much upgrade gear after you've pretty much seen the weapon, and you change your base, you are going to upgrade that shell weapon. Now, even though you upgrade this shell weapon, just don't think there's anything that's going to change on it. It will still stay at level one at max upgrade. Some of y'all are wondering, what the heck is this thing for? If you can evolve this thing somehow, so if you go to evolve gear, change your base, and then you go to the shell weapon, you're going to need Jormungandr cores, Fafnir cores, and Ogre cores. Now just note that this event will rerun, so for example, if you can't evolve it this period, you can evolve it the next period. Some of y'all are wondering, well, I only get one core from burst 3 hard if you do all 20 missions, how am I supposed to get 5 of these things? Well, the thing is, is you can actually farm the cores if you do the conquest, particularly in hard mode. So if you go into notice and everything, and you go into conquest event updated, it'll actually tell you that hard mode added, and these nightmare, uh, this has added hard nightmares or the nightmares, right? And for the most part, it'll tell you down here that on hard mode, three different boss nightmare cores will each drop at certain rates. So in hard mode specifically, you can farm the cores so you can evolve the weapons. So right now, you know, there's a 3% drop rate for verse one hard, 6% for verse two hard, and then 9% for, you know, verse three hard. Now, I don't believe a lot of people can do verse three hard. So, you know, they're having a campaign right now for the discords if you want to join people who want to do conquests. And of course, I'll drop the links for the server raid discord for Sinnoh Alice as well. I would say that it's probably not going to be easy getting all these cores and farming it up and evolving the weapons because after you evolve the weapons, you still have to go through another thing. So let's jump right into here. After you evolve the weapons, there's actually skill customization that goes on. Now this skill customization is actually kind of complicated because you can get really in depth with this. By that I mean you can change the Kalo support skill you can change the Kalo skill, you can change the story skill, and this thing has insane potential. So you can get like a Dauntless Courage 2 with like a colossal physical attack bonus, you know, on your arena skill. So that's really, really crazy just to look at by itself. And you can see here it's going to cost Jormungandr cores and these two cores in order to pretty much do the skill customization. And I believe the parameter customization, you know, I feel like that goes with the skill customization. You can see the stats go higher because at level 80 legendary, it's 4,765. But here you can see it's 5,765, which is a clear 1,000 boost in stats. And you can tell the physical attack is really good. For a 19 cost, you know, it's a little bit high, but if it can go actually to these stats, that's pretty damn amazing. And not to mention the skills are absolutely phenomenal. So, how do I rate this weapon? It's quite possibly one of the best weapons. Because as long as we get reruns for this event, we are going to be able to maxim and break this weapon. We are able to get stronger and stronger and farm harder verses so we can get more cores for this weapon. So I would say it's one of the better things that's dropped in Sinnoh Alice. But the thing is, is it's not very accessible to most players, I would say, because not everyone has access to a group of friends or a group of buddies that can just farm conquests like this. So, you know, I'll drop the links to the Discord and make sure to join it, because if you join the official Discord too, you get, you know, 30 free Twilight Crystals. So that's pretty much it for, you know, the husk or shell weapon guide. They're pretty much just get some cores. Once you get enough cores, you can evolve it. Once you get enough cores, you can customize the skills. And that's pretty much it. 
like you can only pretty much configure this weapon when this update is live and i believe this conquest event is going to be a rerun where it's going to be something that occurs monthly at the minimum so you're going to see this come more and more and more and it's not going to be you know going anywhere and this is kind of like the we've pretty much finished the stages where they introduce these stages to us and now they can just give us this normal husk slash shell weapon you know intervals of nightmares so we can get the cores for these and upgrade the shell weapons right that that's what pretty much the first couple months were for so i'm gonna cut it that's pretty much it i wanted to cut it cut over into the next topic which is 5.0 so the rest of this video is just going to be regarding 5.0 if you're having issues with 5.0 let the devs know. Uh, this is my attempt to let the devs know. If, if you're watching this right now, I usually don't do this, but I've been seeing a lot of comments on my videos where, you know, people cannot play Sinnoh Alice because of 5.0. And if that's happening, you know, please devs do something. Don't give us a weak compensation of 10 crystals because there's some people who are legitimately locked out of the game. Now 5.0, all it technically did was, you know, upgrade the miscellaneous section and give us access to, you know, having pretty much unlimited space for miscellaneous. But for some reason, some people are unable to access the game. If you are getting the visual bug, you just go into items and you click pretty much whichever item that you're trying to upgrade, whichever, you know, fire type or what have you, or if you're trying to get more skill EXP, whichever. But pretty much that's where you're going to go. Now, if 5.0 completely shuts down your game, like, just let the devs know, put in tickets, and this is my attempt to get their attention. I personally cannot do anything. This is me trying to do something for Sinnoh Alice where, hey, fix the game, please, and give people proper compensation because people are quitting. Because 5.0, yes, well, it adds fantastic quality of life and I'm playing Sinnoh Alice more than I ever have. There's some people who straight up locked from the game. So, you know, hopefully they fix that. Hopefully they somehow fix the matchmaking system because I know people have been having some issues there. But I just wanted to bring these things into light. You know, this has nothing to do with the Husk Weapon Guide. So feel free to jump off. Anyways, I hope we get through this drama. I hope we can get through this period. If not, we're going to have some issues. Seriously. That's it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next one.